I'm Lily Alvarez in New York. Each week, millions of viewers tune into ABC's 2020 to see the latest Geraldo Rivera story. Whether it's a story about drug smuggling into the country or con men ripping off old people, audiences know that if Geraldo Rivera covers a story, it's because it's something he cares about. And that was the case when he covered the story on the reemergence of garment industry sweatshops. My stories come from all over. They come from people calling up, people writing in, my staff suggesting things. I get ideas myself. Yeah, we have that's built us. up a network of sources over the years that, you know, yeah, Craig, develop the mission, stories Craig. for us and give us ideas. Uh, virtually none of the story ideas come from outside, that is, from ABC. And I think that ABC likes it that way, because whatever ideas they get, they can give it to the other correspondents or, you know, within the structure of the corporation, but we work almost as an independent unit here. That independence means so Rivera can would... cover just about any story he chooses. But many more ideas are suggested than can be produced, so he and his staff choose their stories carefully. Once a story is decided on and researched, the actual filming begins. And usually, that's the most difficult step of all. See, the great advantage a reporter in a newspaper has is he can get an idea, and all he needs to do his story is paper and a pencil. That's not enough for us, as you know. We have to get that reality and put it on camera. We have to put it on film or videotape, otherwise it doesn't exist. So we have to visualize stories, and you have to do it in a way that's accurate, authentic. You can't stage anything, so it's very difficult. Being a documentary producer, the hardest thing is to take the huge hardware, the camera, the sound, the support people, get them to a situation without changing the situation just by being there. Capture the reality. Then once you've got this raw footage or videotape, you've got to bring it back to your shop in the editing rooms here. You've got to put it together in some meaningful, understandable uh, way, and you know, then you present it to the people. The sweatshop story is a good example of the kind Rivera likes to cover. It's timely and dramatic, and the unfair treatment of workers is an issue he feels he can do something about by reporting it on television. Well, I refuse to just be a conduit of information. I refuse to just be the person who goes there, picks up two facts, takes these two facts and say, here's two facts, Americans. You know, you don't need me for that. You can get a computer to do that. You know, but I mean, to, to pick up these facts and then say, what is, here's the facts, America. Uh, here's what he says, here's what he says, and here is what I perceive to be my analysis of the thing. Here's the problem, here's a suggestion for changing it and making it better. And then being part of the process of trying to make things better. I mean, that's what we in this unit are about. Some people thought that sweatshops, with their poor and often dangerous working conditions, long hours, and pay below the minimum wage were a thing of the past. But when workers told Rivera about the sweatshops they worked in, he started investigating. We went with him on a few of his raids, like this one, where he had information that workers were getting less than the minimum wage. So they do piecework. Rivera's crew walked in with cameras rolling and confronted the owners directly. You know that, that, that is less than the minimum wage? Yes, it is less than the minimum wage. Uh, how, how you know that? Because they yes, uh, tell us the hours that they work, they tell us how many pieces they do, yes. they tell us how much you pay them per piece, and they tell us how much on the average they earn in a week. Yeah, how, how you know did they work the hours that they told you? Maybe, they, they Maybe they're lying, you mean? Yes. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, do you, can you show me some payroll slips, maybe? Since he started as a television journalist over 11 years ago, Rivera's trademark has been his style, aggressive reporting and a willingness to take sides in a story. It's no secret that I'm, uh, uh, you know, one of the most controversial figures in the journalism business, you know, the, that most of my peers, particularly the Washington-based journalists, don't care for my style or the substance of what I do. On the other hand, you know, it, the public has an easier time identifying with me. I don't make any pretense to being any kind of pompous ass. I come from the streets and I got lucky. I had a lucky break. My career is a been a series of extraordinary chances. And, you know, I've just made the best of those chances. Reporting on problems is Rivera's way of doing something about them. But his belief in using television to bring about changes in society causes criticism from more conventional journalists. The most important thing is to be honest and fair and truthful. Because as soon as you lose those things, as soon as the people perceive you to be dishonest or not to give them the whole truth or not being factual, then they won't watch. They have very 
there's there's a million people out there they can watch and relate to. They don't have to watch and relate to a liar or a cheat or a grandstander. Now, I don't play by the rules of the mainstream journalists. That's true. I mean, I don't pretend to the kind of balance that they artificially impose on most of their stories. Some stories, there is no other side. Edward R. Murrow said that. Geraldo Rivera didn't invent that statement. Um, so I play by my rules. But my rules are the rules that are very basic. They don't come from journalism school. They come from my soul. Honesty, truthfulness, factual presentation. Sure, you can have an opinion. Just don't hide it and disguise it the way these hypocrites do. You know, they pretend to this, this great balance, you know, uh, and they, you know, it's so easy to inject yourself in a story in a subtle and invisible way. I don't do that. I say, here's the story, here are the facts, and this is what I think. And that offends some people because I'm so frank about that, but... When you watch a Geraldo Rivera story, you always know it's on something he cares about, and you know just how he feels about it, too. Some critics call that biased reporting, but viewers call it first-rate journalism, Geraldo Rivera style.